Hi guys, it's Candy Ivan Bob here. Today I'm going to share with you what I personally do when I feel overwhelmed, depressed or even a bit burnt out. Now, I know someone might be thinking, wait a minute, do you get depressed as well? <laughs> and the answer is, yes, I do. I'm just a normal guy like everyone else and I'm actually genetically predisposed to both anxiety and depression. <laughs> and just because I have a YouTube channel, it doesn't mean I'm somehow immune. That's another thing right there. I've been meaning to talk with you all about that when you see these self-help channels out there sure they are probably great and sure you should listen and learn but do not for one second think that they are guys who have life all figured out because there is not one single person on the planet who has life 100% figured out yes yeah, so when it comes to my videos in general I include myself in the group of guys who I'm giving advice to all right so what do I do then when I feel overwhelmed well this is going to be very simple and hey that's actually good because the last thing we need when feeling overwhelmed is to complicate things right we need simple and effective so let's start with physical exercise do I force myself to exercise when I'm depressed and I don't feel like doing it yes I actually do but here's the thing I do it in a very kind way and I tell myself that I just need to exercise for maybe five minutes or so and then after that I can quit if I still want to and most of the time once I get myself going I almost never quit after those five minutes physical exercise is something I do not want to leave out because it is when we least feel like doing it when we actually need it the most there are so many studies made on this and I think you're all aware of it so I don't need to go there right however there are indeed times when I'm so down that I can't master up anything else than just going outside for a short walk but you know what that's okay even walking is great and I always feel a bit better after having done so. Okay, so what about food then? Well, here you might be a bit surprised to hear that when a really bad period hits me, this is actually where I cheat a bit. Now, of course, eating healthy is to be preferred and of course I recommend you stay as healthy as possible, but I do admit that I personally sometimes go for comfort food when I'm really struggling in life. I think just as long as you are aware of that slight dip in dopamine that follows after eating some junk food, like I shared in a video last week and you are able to wait that dip out and do not go for more junk food when down here then it's actually not that bad for me mentally speaking that is in fact it may perhaps be just what I need to get me through the day now again it's not like I'm recommending this to anyone don't get me wrong I'm just sharing what I personally do here and it's not like I'm eating like crap every day when I'm depressed either by the way I can link to that dopamine video at the end of this one because I really think you should see it if you haven't done so. So what about my goals then? If I'm really down, do I still keep working on my goals? Yes, I actually do. But here too, just like with the exercise, I allow myself to quit after just doing five minutes of work. Now, most of the time I do keep going after those five minutes, but yes, sometimes I actually stop. But here's the thing then, even if it's just five minutes, when the evening comes, you will feel so much better than if you didn't do anything because you know that you still kept moving towards your goal as opposed to standing still or even going backwards. It is like the old Chinese saying, don't be afraid of walking slowly, only fear standing still. Also, if I'm depressed, I make myself write a few lines about what I'm grateful for in my life at the end of each day. I know, I know, this one sounds like such an unnecessary thing to do, but there is actually research behind it showing how it helps with depression. Now, there are times when you're so negative that you go, I don't have anything to be grateful for. And if that's the case, then ask yourself, what could I be grateful for if I wanted to be grateful? And then you get around that negativity right there. And then you just write down a few things. Do not complicate it and make it too much either because then you'll just stop doing it. Just write down two, three, four, five things you're grateful for each 
day. Lastly, I try to adapt a warrior mentality by trying to find glory in the suffering. Yes, I know that sounds childish or even like a sick thing to do, but it is not. It really helps if you think something like it's not when the sun is shining and the birds are singing that the warrior gets to show what he's made of. Everyone can be happy and keep going then. That doesn't take any strength. No, it is in his darkest moments, <laughs> when all hell is breaking loose, when the warrior really gets to show what he's made of. Playing around with thoughts like that can really help you to start feeling less sorry for yourself and to get that fighting spirit back. And which one of these do you think will give you more energy and drive? The fighting spirit or the victim mentality? Well, I think we all know the answer to that one. So try to find glory in the suffering and keep trudging forward just one small step at a time. And oh hey guys, remember how I used to end my videos back in the day? Well, that's right. Like Winston Churchill used to say, if you're going through hell, keep going. And the video with the dopamine graph I mentioned, well, you can see that video on the screen right here. So click on that right now and go and watch it if you haven't already done so.